Hi, good day everyone. My name is Piyush Agarwala. I'm the LED Lighting Director at Supreme Components International. A few days ago, we partnered up with a brand called Edison Opto, showcasing two OEMs and lighting designers alike, some of the latest brand and product offerings that they have. Edison is a very interesting brand in that they provide nearly 1,500 products across their entire expansive set of product offerings from PLCC LED SMDs, ACDC DOBs and COBs, and also semi-finished linear boards. In addition to that, they also provide semi-finished customized products across the various color ranges that they have anywhere from 70 CRI to 97 CRI and 2200 Kelvin all the way to 6500 Kelvin. Before we continue, I wanted to give you guys a quick introduction about who we are as a company and how we can add value, followed by Edison Opto providing their company profile and their product portfolio, and then diving right into some of the key product areas that they have in DOBs, Federal Series, and PLCCs. So who is Supreme Components? Supreme Components International is a worldwide distributor of electronic components, serving customers in the electronic components industries generally, the LED lighting industries, and IoT and AI industries. We carry 120 major franchise lines, or 120 different brands, and we serve nearly 3,500 plus customers all over the world across 12 different offices. Well, thank you, Piyush, for all this uh, introduction. and. Uh... Good morning to all of you. Uh, this is Nikhil from Overseas Sales Department of uh, Edison Opto, and I have been working in the company from last uh, six years. Uh, so this is just my brief introduction. Well, actually, most of you already know our company, but still, like, I would like to give a brief introduction about Edison Opto Corporation. Okay, so uh, so I'll start with the Edison Opto company presentation. Like Edison Opto Corporation, like we established in the year two thousand one. With a paid up capital of around 45 million US dollar. Uh, this company was established by our chairman, Mr. Jason Wu. And the current uh, company size is around like 1,100 employees we, we, we got, and the revenue over uh, 100 million US dollars. Yeah, uh, okay. So we have like, uh, we have uh, factories in China as well as in Taiwan, okay. And we got like our sales team and our engineering team combined together, uh, almost like 100 people we have, uh, that's our strength. And we have uh, three principles in our company that we follow, like honesty, modesty, and action. So that's why we are a member of CEDEX. Like this year, we got the membership of the CEDEX. Okay, we are also a 9001 and 14001 company. We, uh, we got this ISO certificate. And uh, we also got an IATF 1649 certificate, which is mainly for the automotive, uh, automotive LEDs. Okay, so we talk about the company milestone. As I mentioned, like we established in 2001, we got ISO 9001 and ISO 14000, uh, 14001 in the year uh, 2002 and 2005, respectively. Uh, we established, uh, we established our factory, uh, our Dongguan factory in year 2006. Uh, which is in the southern part of the China, and in 2009 we established another factory in Yangzhou, which is close to Shanghai. In 2010, uh, we go uh, IPO in the Taiwan Stock Exchange, and we establish our USA sales office in the year 2015. And soon we are going to establish a new factory in Taipei, and uh, so that you guys all are welcome to visit our new factory that will be uh, in the middle of 2021 this year. And then you can see the different locations, like uh, we also have the uh, the USA, uh, USA office, our headquarters in Taipei, and our two factories in Dongguan and in Yangzhou. On this slide, you can see like which of our products we manufacture in, in which uh, factories, uh, our UVC, and some of our automotive LED components. Uh, and special lighting SMDs we, we manufacture in our Taiwan factory. Uh, Yangzhou factory is mainly for the PLCC, mid power and the loop and the high power SMDs like 2835, uh, 3030, 5050 and some of the and some COBs. We also have uh, uh, a sister concern, Edison Litech. This company is also is in Yangzhou. And uh, they are mainly do the OEM, they do the they do the light engine, the automotive lighting modules for Kia, for Hyundai, 
for Harley Davidson and for uh, Fiat Chrysler. And the last one, our Tongkan factory. In the Tongkan factory, we mainly manufacture AC DC modules. We also manufacture LED strips and some of our finished products like panel light, uh, like uh, down lights, which we have started uh, recently. Uh, these we manufacture in our Tongkan factory too. Here you can see uh, that uh, what are the equipments that we use for our measuring purpose. Like uh, like we have we have over here like high pot uh, tester surge tester. Yeah, these are equipments like we use. These are the uh, the equipments we use to test our LEDs. Like we we use like humidity uh, or humidity machine. Like we also we, we also have a machine to test the lower temperature. We also have like AOR. X-ray machines like to, to test if there is a bubble or something uh, in the LED, and we also have the thermal shock machine. So this all uh, concludes like Edison always keep the quality first. Yeah. This is uh, I would like to tell you here like uh, Edison was the first company in Asia who got their own LMAT lab and that too certified by the TAF. So this is in the, this slide you can see the certificate what we got from the TAF for our LM80. And uh, I would also like to emphasize that all our LED components we first uh, uh, pass the LM80 test, then we will launch it in the market. And our LM80 criteria is like uh, 85 degrees and 105 degrees, and we test it for like 6,000 hours and 10,000 hours respectively. Yeah. And here you you can see our uh, uh, snapshot from our one of our, our production line for the LEDs. Total, we got uh, 20 production lines for our SMDs and for our COBs. I would also like to tell you that Edison is not only the SMD or like a COB uh, manufacturer. We also provide the total solution to the customers. We also help uh, customers with their lighting de design, like with the optics or with, with the modules. And we also offer the OEM services to our customers. We have like three, uh, we have three fact, uh, factories uh, who are dedicated to provide the EMS services also. And here is like uh, some of our customers from the from from worldwide. As you can see, we have customers from all part of the of the world. About our product, uh, our product portfolio. Okay, so uh, we have we are divided into two, like automotive and the uh, lighting. Since here most of our audience is for the general lighting, so we're gonna talk more about the general lighting. And in the coming slides, myself and my colleagues are gonna give you the detailed introduction. Here is just like a brief introduction about the general lighting. What we have, we have like PLCC two eight three five. We have three 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 zero five zero five zero. We also have the COBs uh, from 6 watt to 300 watt. We also have AC-DC modules with us. We also have DOBs, which we can use in the track lights. And we also have the uh, LED strips. So, if, uh, so that's it for the company uh, presentation. If any of you got any, uh, any question regarding our company, you can, you can ask me. And if not, then we we probably move to the next segment that is DOB. And I would like to introduce uh, our sales manager, Ms. Sue. And Ms. Sue gonna talk about the our our DOB series. Sue. Uh, hello everyone. My name is Sue, and I have been working at Edison for uh, ten years around. So, and I'm going to introduce the Edison new products code, uh, we call DOB series. And let me start the, with the a video uh, int introduction. No. I think it's not playing. Yeah, the video main cannot work. 
All right, so uh, I think we can. I think some issue with the video. Yeah. yeah. Some issue with the video. So so. And then then okay then we can maybe we can just skip the video and then start the presentation. So the uh, based on current design of the, the track light, especially for track light, then you can uh, you can see that uh, difference uh, based on the current decoration. Compared with traditional, there is a main light in a in, in a room, but right now the, the people don't prefer a main a key a main light the the a main light in a in a room that we prefer to have the. Uh, with different uh, different lighting, different di indirect lighting that to uh, to decorate our uh, our our home. So uh, okay, so that uh, so Edison in uh, in last year that uh, Edison have been working for ASD solutions so about around the uh, almost ten years, and then in last year we have uh, these new products we call uh, DOB products. And uh, because that we think these products have got some benefit that from uh, from DC source to AC source, what is the the main difference? That the main difference is that we can DC source that we need to have the uh, driver. So from so directly you can see from the image that from AC source you will see that we show that the whole picture can be most uh, minimized that up to 30 percent and then it means that uh, you can the the, the the light the luminaire could be much smaller than previous version i mean the dc source version and there so and also there are some benefit of the uh, ac uh, we call dob solutions because currently the uh uh, for previous, uh, for other, other AC source that you may, that you may get have, you may have some uh, concern about AC source because maybe one of the reasons is the filter is too high or uh, because of thing, maybe you think that the electrician is not, the circuit, circuit design is not, uh, you are not, con you, uh, maybe you have some concerns or maybe there's some uh, about their, also hard to find the uh, accessories for the deal uh, for for um, this kind of module because there we need to have the protection uh, cover the electrical design. So the uh, so current uh, Edison DOB that uh, we design with the we can meet the new regulation new ERP regulation. So mean the for for uh, based on the new ERP regulation there's a uh, rule. Called okay. There is a rule called uh, about the freaker. So we made the freaker uh, under uh, five percent, so it can meet the the freaker regulation. And also we have the OTP functions, which uh, prevent the uh, overheat issues. And also we have holders that can cover the all the electrical components to. Uh, and make sure that that this uh, the, the the module could, could be uh, set for the uh, for installations and also for end users. And this is our pro uh, product portfolio that you can see for Edison for uh, DOB uh, series. Now we have 120 volt and also 230 volt. Some of the countries that you have uh, maybe you have a both voltage. So uh, for this DOB that uh, you have, the, the IC design is that we can use for either for uh, 120 volt and also for 230 volt. And then we have different types that you can find from the uh, SMD type, but there's some concern about the uh, light pattern issues because of the SMD type there, there is not very concentrated, the, the light pattern. But there are some, uh, but the, with the, but this benefit of SMD type is more low, is more uh, price friendly. And uh, for EMC type of the DOB, which is uh, the main, the main part that we promote for EMC type, 
because of the the uh, less uh, uh, less L the the LES is much smaller. So some of the light uh, design that, that with the optical will be more uh, could be much better. And we have a different size that from um, from 38 to uh, 57. So and but currently that from uh, for dimension 38 there the uh, freaker is still 100 percent, but the uh, low freaker, which means the five, under 5% five freaker version is still, we are going to launch. So I think we'll be uh, ready in quarter two or uh, in quarter three. Uh, or if you have any <coughs> interest, you can contact with us. So, and then there's another type we call uh, COB. And COB is the, the, the size is similar with the, uh, EMC type because we would uh, we would have a holder to match with each type. So no matter you are interested in SMD or EMC or COB, we are also available. And this is the holder I, ju uh, I just mentioned. So the, there are uh, three different sizes to, uh, to match with the Edison DOB modules. And also we have some uh, suggestions about the uh, about the uh, about the lens, and also you can uh, meet with the refractor as well. But we don't. Uh, we have some suppliers. You can contact with them first. And also the installations that I would that mention. The our design of the holder is easy to uh, is easy to match with the uh, luminaire. So uh, so, but you can see from video clearly. So I would not mention here. Mm -hmm. And this is the accessories that about the DOB and you can uh, have a quick review about if you have interest and also the dimmer side, we can match with the track dimmer. So these are some dimmer, dimmers we already test through the test and then they are well, working quite well. Okay, so the, and then the page is about the, as I mentioned, new ERP regulation is about PSD, SVM. And we already have the equipment to do the test and make sure the modules is there's no issues about the uh, to meet with the ERP regulation. OK, so uh, the, this is the value and then you can have a quick review about when we do the dimming, the difference with the lumens that uh, sorry is that with the uh, career companies that the major difference is when we do the track dimming, we also can can keep the the freaker under 10 percent. That is the really huge difference with other competitors that the not, not uh not their only Edison can reach the function of when we do the dimming and freaker can be under 10 percent and this is the raw map that uh, we not only we have an 80 ci 80 version we have a 90 version but also we will because based on the current situation uh market a uh, trend there's uh, we need uh maybe ci not over 95 we call the tm30 uh, full spectrum series and also we were going to have the, as I mentioned, the lower, the, the smaller dimension that uh, from D30A to even much smaller, and we are also developing. And okay, and then that's all. So then thank you for your listening. And if you, right now, if you have any questions, please uh, let me know. We have our engineers also online and then we can help you. Hi, sorry, I just got a question coming in from Ayn. I believe mm -hmm. this is from Malaysia. Uh, Nikhil, Nikhil or Sue, if you could maybe help answer the question around whether you have a red light for COBs, that would be useful. Thank you. Hey, Piyush, thank you for asking the question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi. Hi, Nikhil. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we can hear you. Okay, uh, all right. I'll, I'll just ask the question again. Uh, oh, I on the COB, right? Yes, that's right. Oh, right. Uh, right now, we 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 only have the for DOB ver DOB version. COB. Right? Uh, but you want to have it's a COB. COB the, uh, no, we just focus on the white light. But maybe, but maybe, yeah, we can discuss about if you have. 
any specific uh, requirements and that we can discuss about it. But we need, maybe we'll be need more customers. We, mm -hmm. we are looking for a high intensity red color light uh, mm -hmm. in the small form factor, <clears throat> a single chip. So if you have uh, solutions like that, maybe you can uh, talk to us further and give us some uh, of your spec and detail. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And okay, so password. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, so about the, about the 3030 and 2835, yes, we're going to come back. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah. In the, in the coming slides, we, we, we'll talk about 3030 and 2835. Yes. 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 It's about dog. Uh, yeah. And also, that doesn't uh, matter. Uh, on COBs, we don't have, uh, but we have in a 5050 package. May I know your application? Uh, Pear, do you want to help? Do we have RGB on COB? Sorry, we don't have, but we have in 5050 uh, package. Yeah, um, we'll be introduced later. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the uh, uh, federal series for the 5050. Anikil, one more question. Okay, okay, yes, yes, yes. Hi, I see you're promoting your ultra low flicker, yeah? So uh, as far as I, I couldn't see any spec on the, what is your flicker rate and uh, what sort of uh, standards do you comply okay. to and this sort of thing. May, may we know a bit more about that? Okay. How about flickering is uh, below 5%, hmm. less than 5%. And is there a hertz or something like that? Like, you know, a frequency or something uh, when it comes to the flicker? Sure, we can share that data with you. We have okay. a test report and we can share that mm -hmm. with you after the after this meeting. Uh, why I ask this question is because mainly it's about the ergonomic side of things, the comfort of the eye and, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, LED can cause damage and all that. So I don't know if you all have done any uh, bio research on, you know, this to, to get the data out and come up with a ultra low flicker that actually helps improve the eyesight or whatever. So I think you're comparing with incandescent, right? In the in the slides. Is that hmm. correct? Yes, hmm. yes, yes. Okay. So maybe if you can elaborate on that, uh, that would be great. Thank you. Sorry, I, I don't mean to ju just jump in here, but just in the interest of time, if you don't mind, Ayn, uh, what we'll do is that if you can, what we can do is we can set up a one-on-one -on -one chat with uh, hmm. Sue and Nikhil to discuss a little bit more about your specific questions related hmm. to your application no requirements, if you don't mind. No problem. And yeah, we'll thank you. There. Just a quick note for everyone on the call. Um, at, at the end of this webinar, we do have a survey that we will be sending out. And upon completing your survey, we'll be, a, we'll be providing you guys a $50 credit to your next Edison Opto purchase, obviously with some basic requirements in place. So if you could please maybe send us your feedback about any questions you have then as well, that'd be also very valuable for like that one-on-one -on -one session for anybody that needs to get that with Edison Opto through Nikhil and Sue. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Cole. I'm here to uh, introduce our federal series. Uh, this is the outline of our uh, federal series introduction. And for first, I will have uh, describing the main features for federal series, and they have the uh, applications overview for you to let you know uh, how uh, how we use this in each in each applications. And then I will uh, talk more about the uh, so different applications like warning lights and some nature application like medical lighting and uh, the last is the fuel and studio lightings. And you can see here see that the pictures about our federacies, we can have the three different components like 35 don't, don't type and the 5050 don't type and the 5050 for glass type and our SMT modules the SMD modules with uh, optical lens and uh, of course we have the EMS service we can have some finished finished products and here's the features about our federal, federal service uh, this is uh, uh, mainly for high power uses for we, we uh, contain the excellent thermal conductivity substrate to endure the heat from high power use and uh, also we are keep our uh, competitive competitions with the international brands. And this application is very common and very mature products. 
it's like third by third by we can suitable for uh, most of the applications. And here's the three three different series for our federal series, which I just introduced before. It's a third by third by don't type, 50 p don't type, and the 50 50 glass type. Uh, the don't type has the building in optical lens, so we can have the uh, better high lumen, better high luminous intensities. And our color would be uh, from the the spectrons from UVA or infrared A A hundred and fifty nanometers, and also the phosphor converted products. And uh, for the glass glass type series, the features is uh, it has more flexibilities for optical designs, so it's easier to fit uh, most of the optical lenses. And these products, uh, we are especially designed for the uh, uh, filming and studio lighting, which is uh, more high end for and uh, focus on the color rendering. Uh, it was like okay. Now and. Sorry. And this is the applications overview. And through these photos, I will introduce the uh, our corresponding products, like uh, the 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 pictures here within the uh, automotive lightings. We can uh, especially I would like to emphasize our, the the progression for fog lamps. We have uh, one special color, which is golden color, and this is at a better penetrations in the in the in the mist. So you, you can see, especially to develop the uh, to use in the fog lamps, and of course the street lighting. Uh, as I mentioned before, this is a high power package. We can you can have a, a better lumen intensity and the, the flux, so you can use it, use it in the production as you have need uh, some uh, more compatible compatible dimensions of applications, and uh, we have some uh, high CRI. High CR products for museum lighting and some niche uh, applications like the dental lighting for medical lighting, the warning lights. And uh, for uh, architecture lighting, we have some different series. We can have uh, uh, multiple color packages and uh, single colors that which which the uh, uh, customers can uh, design from different uh, combinations. And of course, some uh, more professional lightings. We, we could use these products for this is uh, more flexibilities for about the recipes like uh, horticultural lighting or aquarium lightings. And uh, for the ex exhibition lighting, uh, of course, the general lighting and some fish fishery lightings. Uh, Yes, here this is uh, only a few pictures that that we collected the photos to show you how the variety of applications which is suitable for our Bedrosis product. And however, there's more 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 options which is not short here. So if you have some different uh, uh, different applications, we could just uh, uh, we will have uh, for discussions later. And here's the different colors for uh, we are especially for the morning lights, and we have some single colors like red, blue, and green, and the phosphor converted like PC amber or cool white colors. And I do like to talk more about the PC blue. The PC blue, uh, PC blue, like uh, the original solution for the blue color is the we use the blue chip, but there's some issues for our end users. Um, among among all the single among all the single color chips, blue color has the lowest luminous intensity, uh, which might cause the risk to fail to comply with some regulations due to its poor intensity. So we have uh, to solve these problems, we have our PC brewing solutions. Uh, this is a, a phosphor coating on the blue chip. The, the intensity will be uh, up to typical uh, 
75 lumens, which is two times than blue chips. Then, so it is also comprised with the CIE coordinates. It is shown on the right, right pictures. Uh, the green the green area is for the regulations, and the blue area is for our Edison's coordinates. And you can show the uh, the PC blue color is actually driving on under the colors shows to you. And there are some more uh, leisure applications like medical lighting and field and studio lightings. For, me for medical lighting, we have to introduce two applications. One is for surg surgical lighting. And you need more uh, high CRI or some particular spectrums to uh, identify some organ or some uh, vibes in during the surgery. So we have the four color in one, which would have a, an excellent color branding effect and our dual color for high CRI products for shows here. And uh, the other is our dental curing. You can have some uh, UV or some uh, special durable colors, which is our climate and use different, uh, two different kinds of range of blue chips to apply in such, in such UV curing equipment. And the last is the film and studio lighting. And uh, there's uh, some difference from uh, each uh, from the entire entertainment lighting, so called. The, the regular spec would be architectural lighting, or you can see some, some general lighting, such as two illuminations. And uh, the, the middle spec is for the stage lighting, where you may need uh, some more uh, compact visual, in, visual experience for, for, the, uh, for the participant. And uh, the last is um, this, the uh, high end application, it has a high suspect, the high spec. It, it need to emphasize the uh, CIs and the, the, the color quantity and the color parameters. And here's some uh, common use in, in luminous for uh, stage, stage field and studio lighting, which has a power light, a uh, moving height, the ellipsoidal. Or, or profile profile light and the first nail spotlight or the panel For the dome type, we have 30 by 35 for visible lights, for UV or infrared or phosphor converted. The 50 50 packages, we have different uh, powers to, to be uh, to available. So, this is the uh, model list for 50 50 glass package. And we have some compare with some uh, international brand. So this is our comparison about the old companies, and the and the, the this this shows the, uh, the actual the the actual parameters the actual parameters we after we have a color branded. Is this is quite uh, um, average? This is the quite typical quite typical spec. We can reach the uh, RA of of, of greater than 93. Uh, however, the old company could only uh, make the R like 80 at most. And here's, here's another picture for the uh, dual colors. Uh, we have some, we have both a uh, color rendering for a uh, high greater than 95. However, uh, the old company, uh, the old company's uh, cool white colors only have the uh, RA about 17. And I would like to introduce the our uh, Edison modules, which is the Prada and the Stonehenge series. Uh, this is uh, our modules SMT with our federal series glasses, and uh, this is also the with um, with the Stonehenge optical lens. And this is a uh, uh, which which would like to develop this product is uh, this kind of product would have a better light 
uh, structures, we can uh, replace the color filters, which is more uh, environment friendly and also uh, have the better luminous uh, efficiency. And uh, this, uh, this product uh, with the Stonehenge, Stonehenge lenses, which is, uh, has the excellent color branding effect and also has the, uh, the less luminous from compared to the original reflectors. And here is the spec that we can reach after color branding. So we can uh, remain RA, remain RA greater than 95, have, we have an excellent CI performance and the dimming from uh, 2070K carbon to uh, 5,700 kilos. Five we have a uh, wide range of CCD ranges. And here shows the spec of our uh, Edison's product series. We are the module, module products and we have uh, five colors of, we have different colors of red bow which shows, shows on the right corner. And here's the spec for our uh, Stone Edge series, which is our project series with optical lenses. We also have uh, different colors sh shows here. And uh, the last page shows our uh, actual feedback from our client, from one of our clients, which is uh, applied in the first nail spot. And as you can show here, there, there's a, a different branding different brand necessities and they all remain the R greater than 95. So here's the last page about my uh, presentation to introduce the federal series. Sorry. Uh, I would like to show you uh, our uh, our product series, which is here. Uh, we have a uh, thirty. Can you stop sharing your screen and show the video only? Okay, wait. so we should unshare. Stop sharing and just show the video. Now, now is it visible? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Here is our uh, product series. Uh, you do have a uh, uh, thirty-three in one or or eighty-eight in one. Mm -hmm. Or I think 88 in one available. So this is a uh, uh, Cooper PCB, so you can have uh, um, excellent uh, some some conductivities for this high power use. We have uh, 800 watts or 1,000 watts available. So is there any questions about our federal series? If anybody got any questions, you can you can ask uh, Chloe regarding the federal series five zero five zero and three five three five. Okay, if uh, no questions, then maybe I think I will move to the next segment. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and uh, okay, so the next segment is about two eight three five high efficacy three zero three zero and five zero five zero. All our SMD high efficacy. Uh, LEDs. Uh, okay, so uh, so the PLCC Ultra Efficacy Series. Uh, first, we will go through with our mid and low power family. Okay, we have uh, in our mid and low power family, we have a uh, 2835. Uh, 3030, 3014, and 4014. Uh, 2835, we have a, a high efficacy series, we have ultra efficacy, and we have an HU series. And these all are available in CRI 80, CRI, and, and CRI 90 as well. We also have uh, the CRI 95, which we call a full spectrum. So in the coming slides, I'm going to discuss these in details. Okay, so uh, for the high efficacy series, like uh, here we have 2835 uh, UE, HU, and HE series. They're available in 80 and, and 90 series. The highest 
uh, efficacy, what we reach in our 2835 UE is 220 lumen per watt. Uh, this based on the current 65 milliampere and the CRI uh, 80. And if we talk about the 3030, uh, we have two, two range in this, HE and UE, uh, ultra efficacy and high, and high efficacy. They're available both in like CRI 70 and CRI 80. Uh, currently, uh, the maximum lumen per watt uh, efficacy we can reach is 180 uh, lumen per watt. Uh, this one also I'm going to discuss. And uh, the 50501 we have in two different voltage. We have 6 volt and 24 volt, 70 and 80 CRI as well. And the highest efficacy we have reached in uh, CRI 70 is 200 lumen per watt. Okay, talking about our uh, 2835 uh, portfolio, uh, we have, as I mentioned, HE, HU, UE. Uh, the uh, HE is like the lumen range is uh, is uh, between 30 and 36, but the typical lumen you can get is 35. So the efficacy around is 190 lumen per watt. For the HU series, we have 34 to 30, uh, 38, and the typical 36 lumen what we got. And in the UE, which is the ultra efficacy series, uh, we have a typical lumen of 38, and the efficacy we got 210 to 220 lumen per watt. In 6 volt and 9 volt, again, we also have uh, the higher efficacy and uh, ultra efficacy one. As you can see in this table, the, uh, the respected uh, efficacies. The application normally for 6 volt and 9 volt is uh, 6, 6 volt is like bulb or like a wall light or like down light. For the 9 volt is around like a uh, panel light, which uh, is very uh, popular recently. And uh, in 2835, uh, we also have proper linear light uh, in the tubes. About the lumen, uh, about the lumen chart, as we can see, like uh, uh, from this chart, we can see HE is in the bottom, then HU, and then you and we have a uh, UE, which is a uh, ultimate, uh, very uh, high efficacy, which is 220 lumen per watt. Uh, about the uh, about the HU series, uh, the, these are available in all different CCTs uh, from 2700 to 6500. I'm not gonna go too much in detail about the specs. As they are all mentioned in the uh, in the table later, we're gonna pass this uh, slides to you so that you can check. And uh, I, I also want to focus like uh, we can also do the narrow binning, like we can also go with two step or three step uh, three step in all our uh, in all our uh, our uh, LEDs. So this is just a rough, uh, rough uh, specs about the HE series, which is 190 lumen per watt. And this is uh, about our HU, uh, which is uh, 3 volt. This is UE series uh, specs, what we have like from 36 to 40. Uh, this we have measured in on 65 milliampere current. All the uh, CCTs are available. So if okay uh, about the U UV series, if you drive it on 65 lumen uh, on 65 milliampere current, then then the typical lumen what you will get is 38 to 39. And if you will, and so some of you maybe you will drive this LED to 150 uh, milliampere, then you can reach around 88 lumen. The maximum current you can drive uh, our HE UE and uh, and our HU series is 200. Yeah, but it's it's advisable. Like you will just stick to like the, don't go beyond 180. Okay. Here we just did a roughly competitive data. Like we have we, we, we did a comparison with Bridgelux, Osram, and Samsung, and you can see uh, we did the comparison of HU and, and HE. We, we didn't do the uh, UE one. So so about our HE and HU, you can see from uh, from this table like Edison is at par. We stand at, at par. We don't, uh, yeah. We also reach uh, like uh, 200, more than 200 lumen per watt efficacy. And I would like to introduce an, our new 2835, which is a dual CCT. Not many of our competitors have this this product. The application for this is like when you are uh, when you are going with the strips, you you can use this uh, this 2835 in the strip when you are going for the three CCT. So we, we will have like 3000, 4000 and uh, 6500 in this. I mean, like you can ch uh, choose the three kind of CCTs you want. 
in this we have like in one LED 2835 package, we have two different CCTs. We have like single side 0.2 watt. We also have one, one side 0.5 watt. This is the maximum what we got in our 2835 uh, dual CCT. Now we talk about our one watt six volt uh, uh, series. This is majorly used for bulb and downlight application. We have again uh, in a higher efficacy and ultra efficacy. The higher efficacy we can reach around 150 lumen per watt, and the ultra efficacy is roughly around 165, 166 lumen per watt. The maximum current uh, you can drive of this LED is around 200, but the typical what customers use this LED is for 150 milliampere and the voltage around six, six to six point five in between that. This is uh, the roughly the, the spec of this of the of one watt six volt LED. And this is the spec of a UE, the ultra efficacy six volt LED. Yeah, around 167 lumen per watt. So about our uh, next segment, this is this is our nine volt one. Uh, we also have two three five one watt nine volt, which you can drive uh, typically uh, 100 milliampere. The maximum driving current for this LED is 120. OK, and this is also mainly used for the bulb application and for the panel light, truffle light. We have 159 and 173 lumen per watt both uh, in, in this range and uh, all 2700 to 6500 KCTs available. This is roughly the spec of our 2035 1 volt HE series. And this is the spec of our uh, UE series, as you can see from here. The voltage range of HE and UE is from 9 to 9.5. Yeah. Now we come to our uh, our EMC packet. It is 3030, which mainly used for outdoor application, like from for floodlights, for high bay, for seat lights. Uh, okay. And uh, this uh, typical voltage for this LED is 6 volt. And we have reached the lumen per watt uh, around 180 lumen per watt. And we also have that is on CRI 70. And uh, we also have this available in CRI 80 and CRI 95, which is a full spectrum. Uh, just a brief uh, comparison between uh, with our competitors like uh, with Luxion and with Osram. You can find our uh, lumen brightness is a bit about 3% higher than the Luxion bright. I would like to emphasize that we also did the sulfur sulfur testing for our 3030 uh, uh, LEDs because since this LED is used for the outdoor, so there is a big uh, threat of having the sulfur go in, inside the LEDs. So how our LEDs will survive in, in that condition? So we have did uh, a small testing about 94, 96 hours. These are all based on the international uh, criteria, what we did the, these testings. We also have 3030 full spectrum, which means like our uh, our CRI is almost uh, above 95 here. So for some special application where you need a higher CRI and you can uh, go for this LEDs. This, this is just a chart and a table for the detailed specification of 3030 HE series. And this is the specification for UE series, which I think you can read it later because I'm not going to go through. It will take a lot of time. And this is again, uh, so if you like, uh, we have this is a UE 6 volt CRI 70. Again, like if you drive at 40 milliampere, then you will get a 236. And if you'll drive the same LEDs on 150 milliampere, then you will get almost 20 lumen per watt. Now we come to the high power portfolio uh, in our SMDs, like, and we have EMC 5050. This is again the application is street light, flood lights, or, or, or high bay. And we have three CRs, three CRIs available in this uh, CRI 70, 80, and 95. This we have in two different voltage. We have six volt and we have 24 volt. Uh, typically, customers drive these LEDs on 640 uh, mA uh, current. And we, uh, okay, here is a comparison uh, of Edison EMC5050 with Luxion, Seoul, Semi, Samsung, and Osram. 
so you can find over there like almost uh, we all are uh, we are a bit ahead than our competitors if we if we talk about the uh, the lumen and the, uh, and, the, and the efficacy and i would also like to emphasize over here the rth value uh, of edison's uh, emc5050 is the lowest is yeah you can see in the bottom and the les area is 4 mm so it's easy to have the optic design here you can see uh, the comparison again of our ue series of our uh, 5050 like we can reach almost 680 lumen if you drive this leds on 640 milliampere current uh, both 6 volt and, and 24 volt so we, we can say that we are a bit like ahead of our competition we are like 1 to 1.5 percent more bright than lumilids and also here again since this since uh, this 5050 is also for the outdoor application so we have we did the sulfur testing for this particular product also same as we did with the 3030 this is again the Specification for our 5050 volt UE series. Both are like CRI 70 and CRI 80 available. And this is uh, our CRI 70. Like uh, if you drive, if you drive on like here, you can in this chart you can see like if you drive the LED on 140 milliampere, what would be the result if you drive at 640, 800? So on different driving currents, we uh, we did the testing of our lumen. So. And OK, so here is the my presentation for. The SMDs for mid power and the high power. If anybody of you got any questions, you can ask me. Nikhil, do you have any have for, for, for the sorry? Do you have any product for show? Oh, like okay i would like to show here like uh, this like our cobs here okay and uh, like we have the, what i mentioned like we have one nine one nine one nine this this size we also have three eight three eight mm to it to it by two eight uh, mm this is our size of our cobs okay and uh, so we have this are available like from six watt to three hundred watt <clears throat> Actually, Sue, ha Sue missed about uh, the DOB product uh, uh, sample. So um, here we, I can show you the samples uh, of our DOB. Yeah, and this is the. We can al also provide the this frame. The whole Thank you, Nikhil. Nikhil, uh, Nikhil we've got a uh, we've got a question by Doug. I believe he's in Australia. He's asking, do you have any SMD RGBW chips? Yes, 5050. Doug, does it help answer your question? If he low power, you need in. in uh, yes, PLCC we have. He needs it for strips. Oh, he needs this for LED strip. <coughs> yes, we have 0.2 watt. 0.2 watts. Mm. Sorry. <coughs> yeah. OK, maybe what we could do is maybe we can set up a time with uh, with Doug later on, maybe through a team's call. Nikhil, if you don't mind, talk a little yeah. bit more about his application requirements and we can see how we can best help him um, in any potential. All right, we got a question from Saka Lighting. Do you have any simulation applications just like others have? Uh, you mean like dialect -like simulation? We can help customers to, to do the dialect -like simulation. Willie, does it help answer Saka's question about dialect simulations? OK, um, well, we can always take that offline as well, Willie. All right. Um, I, it's like a calculation. It's like a, the the lumen calculation, efficiency calculation, to the uh, for module usage. Uh, because we have no idea about the simulation. What kind of simulation that you check? 
That's the case. So what we'll do is we'll take this offline as well and talk to Saka Lighting and right. okay. a little bit later to, to understand a little bit more. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I would like to move on, continue. So thank you so much, Nikhil. Thank you. We have another question from SUP in Indonesia. They're asking if you have any testing reports for LM80 and Lifetime, I guess, TM21. Yes, yes, we have, we have, we have, we have. For which, for which product you need, like for 235 or like for... We can send the elementary report, yes. Pak, Pak Arif, for which SMD LED footprint are you looking for? Okay, sure. We're going to send you the elementary report for that. Okay. So yes, the answer is they do. Okay, CCD5, okay. Hmm. What we'll do, Pak Arif and uh, Willie, if you could please help set up a meeting so we can maybe talk a little bit about it after... Who are they, yo? Does anybody have any more questions about the SMD LED lineup that Edison Opto has? Okay, well, well without further ado, thank you so much, Nikhil. And what we'll do is that we'll um, set up some more time with you individually, Nikhil, and some of the, some, some of the customers on this uh, group chat. <clears throat> Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Moving on, um, I'd like to introduce Samantha. Uh, Samantha is our field application engineer. She is very good. She's going to quickly uh, show us the Edison Opto LED selection tool that she's partnered with Nikhil to develop. And so, Samantha, if you can please maybe turn on your video and show us your screen with the simulation tool, that would be very beneficial. All right. Uh, hi, all. I hope that you can hear me and see me. It has several tabs, SMD, COB, DOB, application modules, AC module, DC module, and LED strips divided. So what you can do is, if, for example, you can just filter out uh, through this. So for example, if you're looking for like a 50-50 SMD, means you can just like 50-50, and then um, CRI 80 maybe, you can just like that. Then you can just see that it filters out. So you can see the MPNs the power and other characteristics as well as the data sheet for the for the for the data sheet it's already connected to the uh, edison opto uh, data sheet online so you can just click it and it'll show yeah and this also works for other for cobs dobs and anything along here so i think aslam uh, our marketing will send you this so that you can uh, search on the, so that you can select on your uh, Edison Opto by yourself. But also if you need help, uh, just please contact sales, your sales representative, or you can just contact me as well. Okay, okay great. Thank you, Samantha, for your time. And um, just to quickly wrap this up, so, Thank you everyone for joining today. I just want to have a couple of closing remarks. Again, Edison Opto for us has been a very valuable player in the local region as people have been starting to find value across their LED lineup portfolio. And if you do have any projects you, um, that will require SMD LEDs or DOBs or modules or linear products, definitely Edison Opto, in my opinion, should be maybe a preference because they are a new player uh, for at least this region. And most importantly, they're very priced well and they're highly efficient products. So please definitely consider that. Uh, we're happy to provide any samples you need. I can work with Nikhil directly to ensure that we can, we can get you that. Um, last couple more things is that the presentation and the audio will be shared after this. So thank you so much for joining. And if you have any questions, feel free to engage with your sales rep and we can set up some time with Edison Opto directly to take it on. Um, Edi uh, Nikhil, do you have any further remarks? Any closing remarks? Yeah, like, okay. Uh, I would like to thank everybody, like those who joined uh, the meeting from different parts of the, the world. Okay, so if you have any questions, yes, definitely you, you can get back to us or you can also check with the Supreme Sales Representatives. Yeah, and we'll be happy to, uh, to provide you the solution. 
Great. Thank you, everyone, for your Thank time. You. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much.